Testing. Where am I going to stand? Hi guys, welcome back to CMD and another video. You join me back here at hothatches.co.uk with this Honda Civic Type R GT. Literally the first Type R that hothatches.co.uk have ever stocked. This 2020 example has covered four and a half thousand miles and is in Rally Red. Historically, the king of the ring, the front wheel drive record holder until the new big brother has arrived. This is the facelift example. Two litre engine, it's punching out 316 brake horsepower, roughly 300 pound foot of torque. Good for 0 to 60 in give or take 5.8 seconds. As a facelift, it comes with some upgraded things around the sort of bushes, suspension. It also has a teardrop gear knob, which apparently improves gear shifts with some other improvements inside like Alcantara steering wheels. If you're new to hot hatches, they're a website car dealership focused on one thing and one thing only, clues in the name. I'll be sure to include a link in the description below. Now I'm gonna admit an element of bias here. I owned a EP3 Civic Type R in red. Um, it was the generation facelift. It came with red and a pink bonnet, which was faded classic Honda paintwork. It looks as though they've improved that a million miles since, uh, since I had mine a very long time ago. But I did have a very big soft spot for that car. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into this and seeing what the updated version is all about. So with that in mind, should we go for a drive? Just before we do that, if you're new to CMD and you've not seen us before, we've been set up as a YouTube channel with a difference. All the revenue that we generate lands into a designated bank account. All of those funds, without exception, every single penny is being donated to local, national and international good causes. Over the last two years, we've donated £1,500 to Birmingham Children's Hospital, £750 to Mission Motorsport, £500 to the Walk Centre, to name a few. And that's off the back of people like you watching videos like this. So if you like what you see, hit that like button, give me a subscribe. Now let's get back to taking this thing for a drive. Hello Mumu Cows, it is nice to be back in a Type R. Just in comfort mode, just finding my feet with the car. Initial impressions are really good. Uh, it's so lovely to be back in a car, but everything's so focused on you all of a sudden. There's enough analog to keep you engaged. I spent my morning in very nice Mercedes and they're in Tiptronic eight speed, seven speed gearboxes. And they're lovely, but there's something very beautiful about that gear change I have to say that is a standout feature immediately it's really short shift very tactile very easy to place it's traditional Civic Type R in here it does hark back to the old days really and, and my car from once upon a time I've still got you know just coming up to 7,000 revs this gear change is very much like an S2000 it's still nice and short throw short reach it's nice and easy to grab by the steering wheel and in comfort mode this is a really easy place to sit textbook honda infotainment's really basic i've got a nav which is a tom tom by the looks of it inbuilt i can use telephone i've got audio i've actually just had the climate controls on just to cool me down a bit interior alcantara steering wheel some very basic controls on there including lane keep assist and a really nice tactile feel the seats very nice and some of these controls I don't think have changed very much from when I had my Civic so textbook Japanese output really in that it's nothing to do with the quality of the finish that's going to make you buy this car in comparison to its German counterparts but if you're looking at this sort of car you're not interested in German counterparts are you and I completely see why this car's done four and a half thousand miles and it's an interesting one isn't it because the new Civic right now is impossible to buy uh, unless you want to pay over and an awful lot more money for what you're getting and I'm sure it's very good but it's still very punchy as a, as a number so all of a sudden these things you use look like very good buys right coming up to the roads where I can go and play I'm going to toggle it up into sport 
drop a few gears. Let's go see what it's about. Front wheel drive, obviously. And away we go. Oh, a bit of torque steer. Struggling to put the power down. Very raucous. And I get some nice red flashing lights as I approach the red line. My dash goes absolutely crazy when it's time to shift. Nice, firm, placed ride. Feel really really engaged. Brakes, good, firm. The car's got you. Yeah, the handling is, she handles lovely. Pulls lovely as well, all the way up to that red line. If you're brave enough, Dale, if you're brave enough. <laughs> Sound wise, it sounds good. They're obviously pumping some of that in through the cabin. I think the dampening is also very tricky. It's got some great steering feel. I know what the front end's doing all the time. And the gearbox just takes it up to the red line. Yeah, nice beep to tell you to hurry the hell up. Oh, yeah. This is the sort of car that once you do, it just feels at home when you're grabbing it by the scruff of its neck. It survives in comfort, but it's really just waiting for you to prod it. It's, it's held on to that Civic Type R ethos. You can sort of see what they've done. It's an evolution again. And the engine's just happy to rev. Miss this. Right, National Speed Limit Road. No one's here. So give it a bit of a launch. Build the revs off the clutch. Traction, traction. Spinning its wheels 30, 40, 50, 60. It's, it feels quicker than the stated figures. And the I think it's just the the engagement level is so much higher in this than than the A35 I tested earlier, which is arguably more capable. You'd back it to go from A to B faster, but there's so oh, you just want to change gear in it all the time. It's not, but the engine's quite capable of letting you be quite idle as well. You can do 30 mile an hour in fifth gear. So it's not one of these cars that you have to be on the gears all the time if you don't want to. If you want to relax, it will allow you that. I have got wireless charging. There's a huge storage cubby just under here as well. Right, here we go. Loose surface. Away well. Foot down. If you're progressive with first, it's good. Seconds, monster gear. with it, it wants you to grab it by the scruff of its neck and give it some stick and isn't that what a hot hatch is all about a bit of that and listen to it wants to go oh yeah there's not many cars that will let you work it this hard and thank you for it there's really not Big fan. Yep, they did a good job. Well done, Honda. So to be clear, I'm a big fan of a Japanese hot hatch, in particular the Civic Type R. Have I shied away from them as I move into middle age, as the looks have got more and more boisterous? Yes. Do I like the very large spoiler on the back? Yeah, I do. It's just not something I want on a car that I would own as my main car. Do I get it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I do. Do I love it? Yeah, I do. 
A good friend of mine has got a saying, and I use it every now and then. If you're going to be a bear, be a grizzly bear. So if you're going to have a big wing, have a big wing. If you're going to have a tailpipe, have three tailpipes. And that's what this car is about, isn't it? Listen to it. And it handles just... If you say very well. It makes you want to drive it. And it will reward you for driving it hard, which... For me, it's, you know... The king of hot hatches remains very well placed. And although the new one's faster, comes with a very big price tag, and it's gonna have to drive very well to warrant a justification above what I'm driving here, because this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So engaging. Yeah, it's just good. Well done, Honda. <laughs> About 10 minutes now to Hot Hatches HQ, so I'm just gonna wind her back into comfort. There's a huge amount to be said for simplicity sometimes. I mean, I've been in other cars today and there's so many things to toggle and mess with, but this is really, really back to basics and all the better for it. I mean, how hard do you have to make it? And then you can poot along in quite frankly, whatever gear you like. And it becomes a very comfortable place to sit. And the ride's not as firm as I was expecting. It's really not. It's really compliant from a day-to-day -day basis. That's it from me. Huge thank you from Chris and hothatches.co.uk. If you've not checked them out before, be sure to check them out. I'll put a link in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Cheers.